United Democratic Movement leader General Bantu Olomisa is back at the PIC Commission of Inquiry being cross-examined by representatives of companies Harith and Lebashe linked to former Deputy Finance Minister and Chair of the PIC Jabo Molegeti, former PIC Executive Tsepo Mathwele and Warren Wheatley. Well, in his testimony, uh, Holomisa questioned a conflict of interest uh, with relation to former directors and employees of the PIC that seemed to leave uh, the asset manager, remember, dealing with government pension funds to build businesses funded by the PIC. Holomisa alleges there could be a cartel of BEE beneficiaries that seem to have easy access to PIC resources. Union leader Bandu Holomisa says he stands by his testimony. This is despite having accepted under cross-examination that he has not provided evidence to support the allegations against Harith and Lebashe. He says he has however provided facts about the two companies when he said the directors of these companies seem to have easy access to PIC funds. Holomisa says he does not have the tools to verify the allegations of dodgy transactions at the PIC and says the commission should investigate. Nothing will be changed from my testimony because my testimony still has to be uh, investigated by the commission. I said from the from day one that I don't have tools. They have tools. Fortunately on Monday the group will be testifying and uh, the questions I've tabled to the Commission two weeks ago I'm sure is going to help them and I've also given them further questions this morning as we have seen. So the tools are not with me. Let the Commission go deeper and verify the authenticity or otherwise of these wild allegations in the media as well. Libasha says the allegations against them are baseless and are damaging to their reputation. Our evidence, um, half of it was presented today, will show that our investments have benefited the GEPF employees and other beneficiaries of the funds managed by the PIC greatly. We'll show evidence that is verifiable that on the Harith transactions as an example, many hundreds of millions in profit were made. And with regards to Lebache's investments, we're talking oh, in excess of 2.8 billion rand in profits were made. And this will be presented next week. Harith and Lebashe will continue cross-examining Holomisa on Monday next week. Representatives of the companies are also expected to give testimony at the Commission of Inquiry. Lourdes Fagomusi, SABC News, Johannes.